Hi, good morning. Welcome, sir. So, today I are going to be talking about incubation, stripping of egg, and fertilization. So, for that, you'll be needing this net. It's the commonly used net in Nigeria. Okay? It is called Kakaban. Most of the time, our eye are called incubating net. So, you can look at this. That is it. It's a very nice net that can hold enough egg and I'll avoid most of them going down inside the water. So, this is how you spray them. Inside the water, you can see, you have spray them, you hang them up, you allow them to like just sink a little bit, not going deep inside the water. So let it be at the surface so that once they start hatching, they can put a drop inside the water. So you have to prepare one pond, here's the second pond also. Here's the second pond, you can see it. So that is how we prepare our nets. Okay, good. We've spoken about the spreading of uh, the nets. Now we'll show, I'll show you the nets that we have and how we catch them, how we use them to incubate, to fertilize the fishes. So come, show them the nets. Here they are. They are averagely 5 to 6, some even 7 kg, 2 years above. So that is the maturity you can see. Look at their heads, how big they are. They look very huge. So I'm going to catch them. To catch them, make use. I will be making use of this scoping net. So, gently, there is going to be a wall. Just a little bit of pointless. This is my camera. So, mm, you can see how agile and militarized they are. Good one. Gently. So I've got one. Oh. And let's go back. Look at this. This is a monster. Female fish. And like I promised you guys, I'm going to be showing you how to differentiate it from the female. So give it a clear and closer look. Use your wet towel. Make sure you wet it. Why do you wet it? All over the body of the fish, we have this cocoon covering it, protecting it from bacteria attacks. So, but when you're using your dry towel handling it, it will like curling the cocoon all the way to expose the fish then for to battery attacks. So, but when you wet it, it's easily it smooth, slips, and nothing happens anymore. So here we go, my jet thumbnail come come closer. So look at this. You can see this the genital papilla like how you saw you said they only to just only this place my man okay so look at this clear you see it's long enough and touching this the fin over here so that is how to recognize a male fish contrary to the female one that was just at one spot here but this one is long enough and touches this fin here so it's a good sign of majority of males so thank you all right we'll continue with the process now i want to remove the testes so that we can use it to fertilize the eggs so to avoid a lot of trouble from the middle of fighting you cut the dorsal most into two once you cut it, it's powerless, it has no more strength to struggle and fight with your own. So here we go. This is how I do it. You can see she is fighting here. Don't have to calm down. Don't have to calm down. Calm down, my brother. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Hmm? You are not fighting, okay? Calm down. Okay, here we go. Just put it this way. Here, stop the head. This is the articulated bone. And you press the knife here, you break it down, you cut it. See, it is great. It will fight naturally. It will fight, then keep on cutting. You cut. I'm not yet done. Mm -hmm. 
so when you cut see you get to a bone here that's the whole power of the fish just bring in break that bone so you see your struggle will stop then you can gently turn it upside down and bring your testes outside <clears throat> Here we go. Good. So you turn the fish upside down to remove your testes. And all right, guys. So here's the nail that we're gonna cut. Okay. So look at it here. You can see. See struggling. So to avoid that, I uh, usually just cut breaking string down the power is on the, the backbone or just under the dorsal fin so the space between the head and the dorsal fin is where you can cut it okay you cut it this way so you are cutting it you get to you need the bone okay you can't cut you have to break it so you hold it this way and you shoot it will break just see all right the fish is broken so now you sit you can allow you peacefully to do your job so this is the genital papier so from there down you cut it's very stiff because the male is old it's very mature okay cutting down open it all right so once you open it so exchanging this is the fats to the digestive tubes then down there you can see the two guys we are looking for here are the testes wonderful one very long and huge so it's getting over matured you can see the blackish color there it's supposed to be whitish then but it's okay it's gonna work so you just tear it out this way you see and you cut it there is one and you go for the second one somewhere down there and here we go that is it you remove it and you cut it all right so we've gotten our two testes then we can proceed on cleaning and washing them okay Let me see. so we clean them out of the blood okay to avoid any infection coming from the blood so the fish is clean it very well okay just clean it yes just clean it clean it so you clean it very well okay make sure there's no water no blood on it and this is the container that supports the lift Also clean that one with tissue to drain all water out of it. So the cells must not enter in contact with water while they have not touched the eggs. It's really going to weaken them and they will only live for one minute. After that, they will die. So if your incubation may not take place on the right path, the right way. So you dry everything, make sure there is no single drop of water where they are going to land. The only water they can touch that will activate them and keep them alive is saline water, which I'm going to use here to keep them activated. All right. Use blades. Let me just have a You cut it this way and you remove the water inside. Okay, you can see the water is dropping. Okay. 
Let's see. Okay. A little water for me. To wash it down. All right. Okay. You draw the text inside. Then the second one. And cut it as well. Same thing. Okay, let the water to go down. That. Alright. Okay. Give me some. Give me some direct. So. And this is done. You need to stand together. Stand them together. And you cover it and keep it. Where it will be safe so that no miscarriage around the road. Alright, please. We're taking up egg part. Okay, so this is the plastic I'll use to collect the eggs. You also make sure you dry it for you can see it's very dried. And you keep it here. So we need two people to handle the fish while you're stripping your egg out. One to hold the head and the other to hold the tail. Okay? So, once you're holding the tail, the other person will be holding the head. Make sure your hands mm. are clean and wet, like I said it earlier. So I will be calling Daniel to come and help me. Alright. Here's the head. This is not a big deal. So that is. Here is the egg that we got from a female. You can see it. It's now a little. And here is the milk that I prepared. You can see how it is. Then the incubation consists in mixing the milk and the egg together. So you pour it on top of the egg and you spread it around. Oh. 
then you mix it thoroughly without adding water or anything else. You mix it. Mix it for about one minute plus or two. Just take your time, don't rush. Don't rush. Mix it thoroughly. So that's majority of the eggs will get activated it gets fertilized rather and i'll be giving you a lava letter so yeah, mess it mess it mess it very well Again, and this again. This it. So then you now look for water and put still missing. So here add water. You add enough water, you add enough water, then you mix it, you turn it, you turn it, turn it very well, turn it very well. Make sure you don't pour the water away or the eggs reach it. Then you reduce the water. Reduce the water. So then on the fast off incubation. Incubation just spraying the egg on top of the net. That's all it's about. When you spread it, you give them enough space, let them to bubble together, gamble together for oxygenation purpose. So here we go. That's how I'm doing it. You spray them, you spray them in as much as space possible. I'm not wasting the spaces on the net. <laughs> 